In today's dive, youth school of batfish on the hedge. Yellow tail snapper migration. A lucky barracuda. This gold tail was not so lucky. Conflict with me and a permit job. All coming up in this dive. Yes, my people, welcome back to the channel. So we are here again this morning to do some spearfishing. Um, we come um, two days ago and um, they see some rainfall and you see come up um, and get dirty and rough bad. So we did go into the water though, but however, the catch was nothing. No visibility, we couldn't see anything at all. So we, we have to just come out back, so the, that dive was unsuccessful. So two days after now, and we come back this time, two of us, me and Karandi only. And we come back and see it's beautiful. Yeah man, see flat. You can see so the visibility is a lot better. But it's not most well clean though. But it's a lot better so we here and we're going to see what we can catch this morning because it's the last dive this for me for this week next week again before we can dive again so i want to make you side all right so come with us on this one and remember you know, my people give the videos a like all right give the videos a like so come with us so this is what it is like at the seaside you know Last time we came and um, Canada speared the, the cobra snapper. The visibility was about the same, but however, though the tide wasn't so high, the tide well high, but it looked good still. In here, so now I have no visibility, but it looked good. Car and the walker come out there, so nothing you can see, but it might come. Get ready now, we are going to jump in and head out and see. So as mentioned, the water was clear. This was a drop. I already spear one. I didn't get it on camera. So we are in some deeper waters now. And I saw a school of mixed fish. So this school contains chub, outside jack and some huge batfish. I made a dive, but they gave me no chance. The current was heading up the sea, a little bit strong, so we decided that we are going to head down, fighting the current. This was my second dive. This one was random. I saw nothing special but these purple parrotfish. I was hoping that something would have swum across but nothing did do. I saw Jack getting cleaned up by some cleaner rats, so I made a dive. On the way down, the Jack saw me coming and left the area. So 
So I came across a lovely spot with some chubs. I realized that some batfish was there swimming around as well, a nice school of them. So I timed them and make a dive. But while I was heading down, they come back in the midst of the water and see me coming and make a dive. I was there waiting just to see if they would have come back. I saw this snapper heading from behind the rock over there. I was trying to hatch it but it wasn't coming in any closer. Then I saw the batfish coming up from behind the rock as well. They saw me on top of the rock and make one turn. I didn't get a shot. I made a next dive at the same area but at a different section on the rock. Some grunts was here. There is one. All of the grunts head in the rock. So we decide that we're going to head back up the sea now. Let the current take us. So on the way up I saw this barracuda. I dived on it, but it saw me coming and head off for the deep. I didn't get a shot. At this spot I saw some mutton snapper behind the rock. So I swam around and made the dive from the next side so I could sneak down on them. But when I got there and look over, they were nowhere to be found. The water was very busy today. A lot of these purple parrots were around eating floating debris. So we reached back to where the big school of mixed fish was and I made a next dive and this spot is very deep. Right here is about 80 to 90 feet and there is a next hedge there as well. You can see down in the blue. I didn't go all the way to the bottom because they were just sinking off while I was heading down. I came across this school of Jack so I took the big one which was the leader. And next Jack was feeding, this one changes coloration to black. That's what they do when they are hunting. This spot is my favorite gun spot. I always dive here. 
the strategy is to dive and wait for them to come out of the holes. So here are a few did. So I spear one, but that one tore off the spear though. I lost it. So right here I saw a huge gold tail, so I made a dive on it. It saw me coming and start to swim away, so I took the long shot and I hit it in the side. On my way to the top I was hoping that it didn't tore off, which it didn't. So I took my time and pulled it in close. This spear gun don't have a lot of power. You can see that it didn't went straight through the fish. It's stuck inside. But the greatest thing, I get the fish. It's a nice one. I saw a cobra snapper here, about a two pound size one. I dived on it, but it saw me coming and swim in the rock. So right here I saw some chubs, so I decided that I'm going to make a dive to see what else was down here. So I dive to about 38 feet. I look over by the next rock I saw a permit jack. It saw me as well and decide that it's going to come over while they were coming i realized that it was three of them the idea was to stone this one but i missed the stone shot the spear lagged somewhere in the head the spear went right through so it ended up on the shooting line it gave off a strong resistance until it broke the line i didn't see which way it went I was watching my spear sinking off in the deep water. That permit jack was our next great loss. My spear dropped at a very deep spot, so I warmed myself up and head for it. The spot where the spear drop is 62 feet. So I tie back the line and I made one last dive here. The energy wasn't there anymore. So we decided that we are going to head in because it's getting too late and the way I saw these two fish, a hamberjack and a huge chum fish. I didn't bother to spear them though, I could have speared the two of them in one shot. So that's it for the underwater segment.
die was an epic, epic, epic dive. You guys see. So, a fun dive. A very fun dive today, you know. Dive on the dive, you know. Holy heap of heart. That means fast. Good, 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 good. You know, great dive. All of the opportunity to them, but we see some lovely things. I tell you, really, yellow tail snapper come like any form of migration. No, you can't capture them with the camera still. You see them, so you can tell you guys. You migration. You see a lot of bad fish to all sides. The bad fish them now when they die for the bad fish them. They die late. You should have died a long time. So when we don't get all long, we did die first the first time when they come up back we would I get one but later when we die now we dumb, we dumb, we dumb, we dumb, we dumb, we dumb, we dumb. so the first come up when they come up back they miss me so we dumb, we dumb, we till they come up back and when they run out of them come and the yellow tail snap already did at the time oh god but they now come up and watch me come up and they come back and you guys see the permit jack there two of them are swim up and we go lay down two of them swim up and we shot the big one there and Mash me up out there, pop off this wheel. All me I try to clear him, you know, because I clear him from one rock and I come up with him and try to come up with him and, you know, I try to clear all of the rock because I know I clear all of the rock and I know that I will get it. But him too strong and I can't surface with it. All me I try to go up, I can't go up, so I kind of release the card and run. All I need to rock there and then the, the rock kind of cut off the line. So that's what I want. We give tanks still, you know. We give a lot of tanks. We find two nice fish and we find a nice one or two. So, see the catcher. So, this is what we found today, my people. Currently, we find um, three jackets. So. I So this I catch my people. We find a nice dinner today, you know. We do a nice thing on a fish. So I get them clean up, you know. They do with it on a tight schedule. I do go over tight. That was so nice, the visibility was okay. Alright. It was too bad if it had got up this a little strong still, but you could have seen me nice. Yeah. It oversteered because the water was nice and we are sea fish. Anytime we are sea fish, why that's all matter. That nothing else matter with us. You know you are great life. And any of you go somewhere tomorrow to come back. Right, yes. Sir. But, so you go see. So we, you know, we almost finish the clean up. Thing almost finished. Alright, they are getting the last fish to be done. So I don't put it here. Remember me saying you we are the one fish, I want to know how much of the gold feel away. Yeah. And I have to mark them down, you know. I don't want to 
Alright my people, so I'm going to weigh the fish you now Make sure the scale is zero You know, I'm so much in my way, see me going up here so I weigh him with the other two jacks, because I tied him up already so yeah, So weigh him with the other two jacks at the same time Two pound, everything weigh, so that means uh, When two jacks are not weigh nothing, that one will probably weigh about half pound and the next one weigh a bit So, I look for them both but one pound and a half one pound and a half a big fish away the big gold tail yeah. mm, two pound yeah. so nice to catch it still we give thanks a whole heap of thanks so we are ready up to leave out you know because the look of string there yeah nice to catch it still look to see what we're going to see he's half the middle Zero back. One. One. One a little bit. One and quarter. My bad. Better than two in a sardine. <laughs> yeah, good. Fine. Look how fine still. Me I tell my people we enjoy this a dive a shake. Water nice still. So if you stay so we are go back in it, you know? Great dive we get today, you know? Yeah, man. Great, awesome, great. awesome dive. Yeah, man. Nice dive. So we are hit the road you know, as me say, we're on a tight schedule. So we are doing man. Definitely I cook up over there and the end of this video. So stay tuned to the channel, alright? Yes my people, so see the big boy. And the next day this me never get to cook him the same evening. But the next day this you know, you know, I'll cook him for breakfast. We don't want to steam him but it's not possible either. I do look up. Brown shoes. Yeah, nice size one this one. So he's season up already and everything. You don't know and I put him a go by you know. You don't know some fry plot and well pressed. Yeah, so we cut the fish in a two because it's too big for the pot. Yeah, so then you get the first turn, you know. Yeah. Very nice, huh? So you finish fry, you know. I got back some of the ingredients back inside. This one look like it done you know, you know. Catch the way there. Move it. Yeah man. It's ready, this ready. Nice fish in a pot there. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yes my people, so I eat this, you know. Up the tail yeah. Put some fry plot and real press. Yeah, so I'm a breakfast this, you know. So I give a lot of thanks. Great dive, great catch. Great catch and cook, yeah man. Regardless of the big boy, we mash off me, we, 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 we break off my line out there, you know. Still, we give thanks, you know. Do a wonderful catch, yourself so, and do a good cook up as well. And so, give thanks. And once more, my people, remember to leave the likes, you know, and the links. Do see you in the next one, alright.